Well, in less than two hours, the gates open at the North Texas Fair and Rodeo. Chief Meteorologist Larry Mowry is there with a preview and a look at this weekend's weather. What I want to know is if Larry's wearing his cowboy boots. Larry? Well, oh, well, I kind of do. Look at that yeah. right there, guys. Hey. You see that? Uh huh. I, like I know that. where I was nice. going. This and he's got jeans such on. Such a wonder. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I need shorts, though. It's pretty warm out here, but it is a great evening, and this is such a wonderful event. The North Texas Fair and Rodeo starts tonight, runs all the way through next Saturday. If you've never been to this fair and rodeo, there's a lot of really great things happening. There's different events, and look at these guys. This is the TNT Dunk Squad. They're here all weekend, and I'm kind of nervous standing here, but they promise they're not going to hit me. This is doing? Keith Cousineau. Hey He's kind of the director for the TNT Dunk Squad, and, and tell me about your crew here. Uh, we're from all over the country. We're coming in to do some shows. We're going to do a couple shows a day. We're going to do a lot of acrobatics, slam dunks, flips, tumbling, all that stuff. But most of all, we're going to have a lot of fun with the people that are here. So bring your kids out. Uh, we do a lot of interaction with the kids, and uh, it's just a lot of fun and a lot of explosive entertainment. And I I'm not supposed to move, right? Just stand still. I think it's probably a good idea. Good idea, yeah. Now, you guys travel around the country and perform. Right. We do anything from NBA halftime shows to school assemblies. We talk about positive choices uh, to special events all over the world. Okay, now what are you doing with the hat here? Uh, just stand still and stand uh, still? Okay. be brave. Here we go. Uh, all right. All right. I love that guy. He didn't hit me. <laughs> we're, in debt. we're in debt and we had to bring out the cowboy hats. Awesome. I love it. Thank you guys very yeah. much. I appreciate it. Great, great event. They're going to have two shows during the weekdays and four shows on the weekends, right? So if you're coming down, check them out. They're kind of on the, uh, the west end of the fairgrounds. Let's talk about the weather for the weekend. Before we go, Larry Mowry over at the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo wanted to say something. Larry? Hey, Kaylee. We're so excited you're here. In fact, we're really moved that you're with us here, and so we'll see you tonight. Wow. Nice <laughs> wow. move, buddy. All right, Larry. Get used to it, Kaylee. Thanks. Milk sack cow. Back to picking up the nuggets, Larry. We'll see you at 6. There's nothing connected to the brain and moving like yeah. this per se, but for 20 to 50 bucks and for a kid to just feel, you know, I'm, I'm empowered by this. Life-changing. Yeah, versus yeah. the two to $4,000 cost on something. It's, it's incredible. It's cool. Also incredible, the fact that we might have been able to go to a, a splash pad yeah. <laughs> at the right. end of January. Yeah, here's what I was thinking. You know, Kaylee's been with us since Monday on the air, and Monday we had a high of 72. Yesterday, 78. Today, 80. You guys are just teasing me. You're on you? a string here, Kaylee. <laughs> this is good, good stuff right here. But I, I tell you, tomorrow's going to get a little cooler. It's actually going to be noticeably cooler tomorrow than it was today, as temperatures will only be in the 60s tomorrow which is still pretty good for January. Let me show you a live picture here over downtown Dallas because tomorrow we'll see a high temperature right around 64 degrees. It will be windy though, and that wind will be coming out of the north, so it'll put a little bite in the air at times and make it feel a whole lot cooler than it did today. 75 right now in Addison, 76 in Fort Worth, 74 in Dallas. Just a real mild evening. We'll only drop into the mid 60s by 10 o'clock tonight, so a great evening to go for a walk, maybe have dinner outside tonight. Just just wonderful out there. A few high clouds still drifting through the area. Those are pretty much pushing off to the east, so clear skies overnight tonight. What will happen tomorrow morning, though, is this cold front, which is now moving through Colorado and Kansas, that arrives first thing in the morning, and that's why the winds will turn out of the north and also we'll see cooler temperatures tomorrow. Let me show you that here hour by hour in our future sky forecast. As we go through time overnight tonight, temperatures will drop into the low 50s and upper 40s by daybreak, but around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, that's when the front slides through. No rain with this front, very a little cloud cover too, but the winds will shift to out of the north and it will be windy during the day tomorrow with those gusty north winds and we'll have some clouds roll in during the afternoon hours and at four o'clock temperatures are going to be in the lower 60s and upper 50s and then Friday the clouds really thicken up. I think we'll stay dry during the day on Friday, but Friday night to Saturday morning is when some of that rain will get a little bit closer to us. Some of the rain may hold off until mid to late morning on Saturday. But if you live out to the west, you're going to start the day Saturday with some rain. And that rain will stick with us Saturday evening, Saturday night, and even into Sunday morning, we'll deal with rain. By Sunday afternoon, it'll start to taper off from west to east, but still cloudy skies for us during the afternoon on Sunday. How much rain are we looking at? Well, if I had to ballpark a rough estimate this far out, about a half inch to some areas picking up around an inch of rain. So that's a good rain. We'll take whatever we can get, but certainly not going to be a drought buster. 50s tomorrow morning, then we'll climb only into the mid to low 60s tomorrow afternoon with those gusty north winds. Then the rain moves in Friday night to Saturday. Friday will be chilly too, 53, staying pretty much in the 40s all weekend with Sunday afternoon being dry, and then we'll stay in the 50s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Bill Jones with Sports.
It's the 24-7 self-cleaning litter box that looks cool and keeps that stinky smell inside. <laughs> Very cool. That's my pick. Okay, let me share mine here. I, I, yeah. I chose a glowing toilet seat because I figured all the lights would be off by the time I got home. <laughs> Is there a message you're trying to share here? <laughs> We, we could go deep in the binary on this you know, one and talk really about it. You know, we really could, right? right? This whole thing could get really stanky. Glow in the dark toilet seat. Yeah. All right. They yeah. offer everything. Larry Mowry, we learned a lot about our new colleague <laughs> yeah. in 15 seconds just well, now. I was going to say it's rather telling that both of you, both of your items had something Thank to do you. with poop. Toilet, toilet. Oh, yeah. very nice. We're going to get along just fine, <laughs> I Speaking think. Speaking of that, who was shoveling the stall <laughs> earlier right. today yeah. out at the Stock Show and Rodeo? I was. They put me to work out there at the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo. I was down there earlier this afternoon just a visiting with with a lot of the, the, the kids down there who come from all over the, the, the uh, state to show their livestock. Got some video from the stock show here this afternoon. It was a cool afternoon and a cool evening, but what a great event down there. If you've never been, it's, it's so much fun. They've got all type of livestock, rides, great food, a lot of great things to do down there in Fort Worth. Let me show you the forecast this weekend if you're heading down to the uh, Will Rogers Center. 59 on Saturday, 67 on Sunday. Just a gorgeous weekend, lots of sunshine. Winds won't be as breezy as they were today. So we're done with the rain. No rain coming this weekend. For this month, we have seen over three inches of rain. That's a surplus of over an inch and a half. And typically, January is our second driest month of the year. So this is really some much needed rain and kind of unusual to get this month during the uh, this much during the month of January. Over the past 12 months, though, we've seen only 24 inches and that's below. Uh, we're behind about 12 inches over the past 12 months, only 67% of normal. So we need a lot more. You can see the skies have cleared out tonight. We've got a chilly night, rain moving through parts of Louisiana up through Mississippi. This is the storm system that was here yesterday. It's going to create some snow problems up here across Pennsylvania through New England as we go through the night tonight. For us, it's just chilly. 33 in Fort Worth tomorrow morning, 34 in Dallas. A few locations will briefly reach freezing. And then temperatures tomorrow afternoon will climb into the upper 50s. Lots of sunshine and rather light winds out of the northwest. The jet stream continues to retreat back to the north, and that'll keep things mild for us. Tomorrow we're at 59. But as that jet stream stays up here to the north and a couple of clipper systems move across the Midwest, we'll see temperatures in the mid 60s on Sunday. And then it gets even better on Monday. We'll see high temperatures right around 70 degrees with all the active weather staying up to the north and also out to the west. So here's how the forecast looks a beautiful weekend, chilly in the mornings, 34 tomorrow morning with a high of 59 and 30s as we start Sunday morning, but a high of 66. We're up to 70 Monday, 68 Tuesday, 70 Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Friday, a little cooler, cooler with some rain chances and temperatures in the 50s. Tomorrow morning up in Frisco, if you have a chance to come join us for storm spotting class, it's Skywarn training with the National Weather Service from 830 to noon and then 1 to 430. We'll, Kaylee up there. I yeah. All yeah. over well, that. Here's, here's, here's what we got to tell everybody. Storms. Kaylee has done weather before. A little. Yeah, over <laughs> in Phoenix, where I'm, there's a lot to talk about, right? I'm a self proclaimed weather geek. Yeah, well, it's great to have you here. Thank it's, you. It's you're such a pleasure here. to work with, Aww. and so we look forward to. To talking with you and dude, teasing you, dude, dude, dude. I paid him still to say that. picked out a glowing toilet seat. That is true. That's you can't true. pass it up. Yeah. I've got class with a capital K. <laughs> All right, thank you, Larry. Appreciate it. Uh, let's talk sports now.